Happy Sunday. I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. I'm super grateful to be alive today. I'm feeling amazing. It's my active recovery day. Just finished getting in my cardio, burpees in the sauna. And the question I have for you is, what is your health worth to you? From time to time, I hear or see things like, I can't afford a gym membership. I don't have time to go to the gym. Or, you know, I don't like to work out or exercise. And all I think about is this. If we're not prioritizing our health, then what else does anything else matter? If we don't take that serious, then what else are we not taking serious in our life, right? And so... It comes down to this here. Um, there is no reason that nobody should not have a gym membership. If you're saying you can't afford it, it's fucking BS, and that's just the bottom line. Um, you know, when I think about my membership that I have at my gym, I pay the top tier, which is 40 bucks a month, and that gives me unlimited access seven days a week, all day long, to, you know, hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars worth of gym equipment from from weights to machines to classes to massaging stuff to the tanning boost to all that right the whole nine yards um now the most basic is less than 10 bucks a month and still at that you're getting the entire facility worth of multi hundreds of thousands of dollars and millions of dollars worth of equipment so there is no freaking reason that you should not be in the gym right you spend more on that on the subscriptions that you you um, are subscribed to all your you know your streaming apps. You spend more on that on one meal when you go out to eat, when you're going to eat fast food, junk food, right? So again, saying that you don't have time, you don't have, you know, the money, um, it's just complete BS, right? And so, you know, you have to prioritize your health. You have to. There is no reason for it. If you got to, you know, um, if you got to unsubscribe to some of those apps, and that's what you got to do. If you got to stop eating out, you know, fast food um, so many times a week, then that's what you have to do, right? So again, what does it cost you um, to improve your health? For me, it costs me forty bucks a month to be able to go to a gym every freaking day, you know, to be able to use any equipment I want, to be able to do anything I want in that gym, and so I will pay it all day, every day. There is no question about it. So, you know, really think about this because, again, you're setting an example for your, your, you know, your family, for your kids, for your loved ones. Um, and, and it's just so important that we have to, you know, uh, prioritize our health for them. So, you know, again, what is it really worth to you, you know, to maybe not eat out so much during the week, um, to not, you know, have so many subscriptions, to just have a gym membership for you, for your family. Um, take these things serious. You know, like I said, if health is not your number one, unfortunately, I think it's just showing that you don't care enough about yourself. You don't have enough self-worth for yourself, for your kids, for the example you're setting, for your longevity, you know, any of that, if you're not taking that serious. So at the end, what is it costing you? Only 10 bucks a month to have unlimited access. Come on, let's get real here. I hope you have a great rest of your day.